Welcome to DABCC Radio, where smart people listen. Virtualization and Cloud Talk, featuring cutting edge solutions from the hottest companies around the globe. Broadcasting from the DABCC offices in sunny Sarasota, Florida. Surrounded by computers, books, and Legos. A Microsoft MVP, Citrix Charter CTP, VMware V Expert. And your host, Douglas Brown. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of DABCC Radio. I am your host, Douglas Brown, and I'm quite excited about this episode. At the beginning of the year, we started off doing an episode with a gentleman named Jed Ayers, and Jed is one of my heroes. Uh, I've known Jed for a while, but I never really knew him the way I got to meet him, uh, got to know him this year, and just a phenomenal individual. Talking about he, this guy runs at 2,000 miles per hour. And I absolutely love those type of people. Mover and a shaker and a dream maker. This guy is all that in a bag of chips, as I like to say. Really great guy. And he is uh, the, C- the global CMO at uh, uh, iGel and iGel Technology. He's also the president and CEO of the Americas. And really, well, Judd's going to introduce himself, but uh, he's one of the guys behind this phenomenal th- growth that we've seen within iGel uh, and if sharing this great story that the iGel iGel's created, iGel Germany has created, iGel the world has created for many years now. And um, yeah, what do I say? Uh, I don't want to get ahead of myself because we're going to go through and talk about what's new at iGel, the past year at iGel, why you should care. Uh, iGel's having uh, an end-user conference and what that all means. We're going to talk a bit about that. Uh, We're going to have some predictions for 2018. We'll just have some fun chatting. Jed's a great guy. I love chatting with the guy. Uh, To me, this is almost an excuse to get him on the phone to chat. Wink, wink. Sorry, Jed. (laughs) It's my privilege, my pleasure. Right? So, okay, on that note, with no further ado, here's my interview with Jed Ayers from iGel Technology. Okay, Jed, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. You know, it's the end of the year, and, and I think we did a podcast at the beginning of the year, and now we're going to do sort of a, a wrap-up podcast. So I look forward to this, and we can review, you know, everything that's gone on over the past 2017, you know, over the past year, 2017. Maybe at the very end, I'll ask you about what, what you're predicting for 2018. But uh, in the meantime, I'm getting ahead of myself. So as always, let me, uh, you know, ask you, who are you and what do you do over at iGel for those who might not know? about you and as i always say shame on them everyone should know jed <laughs> uh well thank you Doug. always a great time to uh sit with you and chat for a few minutes about uh what's going on in the world of technology and uh so yeah i'm jed Ayers. i hold two roles uh, at igel i'm the chief marketing officer globally and then i have the uh, great pleasure of building and growing out a team in north america which now includes canada and uh, I also, uh, in 2018, we'll have our Australian team. We're uh, starting to really build and see some momentum in Australia. So uh, that's my role. And I uh, yes, have spent 20 years in the uh, IT channel before I, uh, I worked for a couple of large Citrix resellers and VMware resellers and, uh, and then worked for AppSense for a short while before they were sold to Landesk and Avante. So I've uh, always been in the sort of end-user compute space uh, in technology. Um, has certainly been a, a gift for me to uh, choose a career in this space and also you know, be exposed early in my career to uh, Citrix um, and end-user compute. Well, you're preaching to the choir there. I, I think um, you know anyone that's been in the EUC space for quite some time, I think we all feel extremely lucky, you know, uh, um, like you said, you know, you've been doing this for 20 years. I, I have also. And uh, it's just, you know, in those days, it was just sort of this weird sort of this, this, you know, this like this. Yeah, this, those guys over there that think they have a good idea. And, you know, nowadays it's very much a mainstream solution, right? Not just remoting, but everything that grew out around it. And uh it's been, I mean, I could, I'm so lucky. Uh, I always feel so lucky that I, that I was introduced to this space and then, yeah. and also lucky enough to realize what it, what it was in those days. Right. And there's a, there's a, you know, a good handful of us out there that, and you being one of them. So yeah, well said. Yeah, um, well, go ahead. Oh, you, you first, Doug. It's your show. 
Well, I was going to ask you another question, but if you if you had something else to say, please do. No, go for it. Ask me away. Okay. So, well, this is the second question, as always, just tell me about the company. So, you know, can you tell us a bit about iGel? You know, the 40,000-foot view. Well, well, what is iGel about? Yeah, absolutely. So, iGel, probably to a lot of people listening in the U.S., may have been an unknown company up until recently, right? We've made a big push into the U.S. The company actually started in Germany, you know, in the late 90s and then really got its start in the current iteration in 2001 uh, as a thin client player, um, really with a strong emphasis on Linux and a, a strong emphasis on building a world-class management solution. And uh, by 2006, the company was number one in Germany and then kind of expanded out, out from there. And it's really maintained number one or two, number three position in all the mar- markets across Europe. And then most recently, you know, about two years ago, year and a half ago, I guess, uh, you know, we really made a big push into the U.S. And uh, we'll have close to 60 people on the ground here, the headquarters in San Francisco, uh, starting June 1st or January 1st, I should say, 2018, which is a huge uh, expansion over the last year and a half. When I got here uh, in the middle of 2016, where it was 14 people. Um, and so we've really attracted some of the best and brightest uh, people in the end user compute space from around the ecosystem who have been attracted to what we're doing. Um, and the company really is a software company at the, at the heart of it. We're you know, delivering a very secure, light, manageable operating system that's extensible to pretty much any x86 device out there. And uh, you know, we're finding uh, a lot of appetite in large enterprises, especially those enterprises that are highly regulated, healthcare, retail, government, finance, uh, where they want to repurpose assets, they want to re- reduce the number of people managing endpoints, and they want to be more secure. So those are kind of the three ways we're winning and taking serious market share from you know, the traditional hardware manufacturers out there, HP and Dell. Um, yeah, we, we're, we're having a lot of fun. We're growing a, a team that's extremely focused uh, here in the U.S. and Canada. And, you know, we're growing at a high double digits and even triple digits uh, in parts of our software uh, portfolio for the, for the year of 2017. And obviously, orders are pouring in as we're talking here, Doug, which is great as we close out the year. Absolutely. The orders are pouring in. It sounds like a uh, uh, telethon. <laughs> right? the, the, the calls are coming in as we talk. You know, Johnny, $10,000 over there. The so, U.S. Has a, is a unique buying culture, right? Like uh, yeah. people tend to wait to the very end of the year. They have kind of use it or lose it budgets. And, you know, most of the people in Europe have, uh, have gone off to their Christmas pageants and are pretty you know, tied down for the rest of the year. But in the U.S., uh, We'll go all the way through to Saturday, uh, December thirtieth. So we'll take we're taking orders, and it's just a different environment here. Um, we'll do probably a third of our number in the last eight hours. Yeah, that's insane. It's it's you know I've been in Europe for well, but about three three and a half four years now. You know, living here almost you know a good majority of my time and. The differences between the two cultures are amazing. Some are, uh, I like the, you know, it's always nice to, 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 to the difference, the big difference between Europe and America is America is sort of a uh, work to live and, or live to work and in Europe is sort of a uh, work to live. And it's sort of nice, but at the same time, when you come from the other thing, it's, it's confusing to you. But, uh, I love the Europeans. Uh, um, this is a great yeah. place to be, but well, I wouldn't I think- discount my American <laughs> brethren. I also. They're all great We found people. a great uh, you know, synergy, I think, in the last year with the team that we're building here that really is energizing the, uh, the European community. And yeah, they've really come alive in the last six months um, in terms of the, uh, the German market. And, I mean, the numbers will speak for, for themselves. I'm sure we'll release a momentum uh, press release um, sometime in January where we can share with the world the uh, extraordinary growth that we've achieved, not only on hardware, but um, definitely on software as well. So uh, nice to see a market you know, that in most cases has been trending down, trending up in double digits for, uh, for IGEL. And it's a testament to a, a focus, a testament to great German engineered software. And, uh, you know, I think we've, been, we've sort of been intertwined a very aggressive American marketing uh, engine into that. And, you know, the results uh, are speaking for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think, I think what IGEL's done is, is 
told the story about what these amazing, you know, the amazing product these, these amazing Germans created, right? Um, I think when you and I first started chatting about a year ago, uh, and went something like, you know, you're telling me the story, and I said, Jed, I know this. And you said, Dude, Doug, you know this, but not everyone else does. And and I think over the past year, you've done a phenomenal job. IGEL's done a phenomenal job, ex- you know, sharing that with the, with the world. And, you know, once you see it and you understand what it does, you understand the value it brings, uh, then you, you're just, you know, it's, it's almost at that point, it almost becomes in some strange way a no-brainer. Yeah, well, I mean, it becomes uh, almost religious uh, for people that have actually experienced it, right? Like they, once they get the IGEL operating system and management, they become huge uh, evangelists for the savings of time and money that they're achieving. And so for us, it's been fun uh, here in the U.S. because we've done thousands of demos with our new inside sales team, you know, exposing people to this console, right? And uh, when they see it and they kind of line it up against what they might have in their environment today, it's just, uh, it's lights out, right? They move quickly into a proof of concept and, uh, you know, that's really what's driving the business is uh, exposing people to this software. And, you know, the beauty of it is they can go to the website and they can download it. And I'm sure we'll talk a little bit about some of the things you've been working on, right? Well, one of the cool things that we've done is we've made it really easy to uh, actually deploy it once you have it downloaded, right, um, through this user uh, guide that sort of steps you through it. So, you know, we have a, a, a big army of engineers that can help you, but we've also got some great, easy documentation that we're adding into the equation. And, uh, yeah, it's scaling very nicely, I guess, is what I would tell you. I love software. Yeah, I do, too. I do, too. You know, I was going to ask you, you know, what's behind the growth, but I think in many ways we you've answered that. It's it's just about showing them and in, in, in the product sells itself anything you know, anything else behind, you know, behind what's what's happening at IGEL? It's interesting, Jed. There's probably not a week that goes by in the past, you know, 11 months that I haven't received a call or an email saying, you know, hey, what's going on at IGEL? You know, and, and it's not just people are, you know, everyone's talking about it. It's it's just really amazing. Yeah, well, I think that, uh, you know, the, the company is building on a foundation of, uh, of a great, you know, read-only 64-bit, you know, operating system, very mature sixth generation product but you know the focus and innovation that's coming off of that right as we sort of um, build off of that listen to our customers listen to our partners in terms of you know hey what what uh other things could make this product more more effective right and so we're adding things in like the cloud gateway we're porting the operating system to things like the ud pocket and, and, you know, we're just not seeing that sort of level of innovation and focus from our competitors, right? So there's this huge hole that we're walking into um, where we're exposing people to this. And, you know, people buy things to save money or make money. And we certainly fall into the, you know, uh, save money category, both uh, operational expense and capital expenses. And then one of the other biggest, you know, challenges people are dealing with today is endpoint as an attack surface for malware and data uh, breaches and that kind of thing, right? And clearly, you know, the VDI architecture helps solve for some of that, but iGel is building more and more security into an already very secure operating system, right? So this past week, we came out with some things with device trust built into the OS. So we're starting to add uh, some really uh, fantastic uh, contextual security. We're doing some things with Cherry Keyboard around encryption of the keystrokes, uh, yeah, we're doing things with uh, Secure Boot. We just continue to enhance that uh, already very strong security message, which you know, which is interesting because all of a sudden now we're actually in uh, good conversations almost always in these large enterprises with CISOs. Um, and, yeah, that's that's an interesting world all by itself, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It's Well, you know, the product's mature, so it's not we're not playing catch-up. Agile's not trying to, you know, get uh, catch up to the world. We're, we're staying, or we're, we're, you know, we're ahead of the curve, right? We're ahead of the wave, not, you know, trying to catch up with the wave, right? And that's a very nice place to be, that you can do things like, you know, play with the latest, you know, or support the uh, the latest, uh, you know, amazing technologies like, like device trust or, you know, uh, uh, support solutions like the cherry keyboards right you know secure boot it's it's just it's easy for us because it's easy for IGEL because it's not hey we got to do all this to get there no we're already there now we just have to support that that technology that's brand new you know or that's the biggest thing right 
And I think it's continuity and focus, Doug, right? We yeah. have some, some of the same, three of the same engineers that wrote the first lines of code on this operating system and management console still go to work in uh, Augsburg, just outside of Munich every day, right? And there's 75 people in that building that are singularly focused on solving for these challenges around end user compute. There really isn't another player out there that has that sort of focus, has this kind of a management console approach with profile driven you know, management and uh, the sort of simple way that we're doing that. And, um, you know, I think that's really what, what's tr driving the growth, right, is uh, a lot of other players out there are focused on hardware and form factor and make it smaller, put more USB ports on it, you know, that kind of thing, right, where iGel is actually re really, our ethos is grounded in the power and is in the software, and you know what? If uh, you want to buy our hardware, we think we build great hardware, great. Uh, but if you want to put it our our uh, operating system and on other people's hardware, that's fine too. And in the U.S., what's interesting is close to seventy percent of our uh, sales this year will be software. So, yeah, you know, if there's any question, is iGel a software company? You know, come talk to our team in the U.S. Um, you know, seven out of ten dollars that we're selling are uh, going to be software. Yeah. Or just download it. Go to uh, igel.com forward slash download, download the thing and uh, install it. That's software. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I like to say hardware is something Igel does. It's not what it is. You know, it's, 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 yeah, you want hardware? Yeah, they, they do that. You know, Igel does that. We do that, but it's not so what we are. I, right. I'd say to you there, Doug, is that, um, but because we build hardware and we uh, um, actually, you know, have, capacity to sort of think about the downstream hardware implications, we build better software. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some thinking out there, right. If you really want to be a great software company, you probably should build hardware as well. It's just, yeah. Um, and that's part of, part of how we're looking at it. And certainly as we move into sort of the future around cloud DAS and even IOT solutions, yeah. Having, uh, a long history of building hardware appliances is not going to hurt our cause. Yeah. So the, that being said, I mean, you just, uh, you know, 2017 is, is awesome. So, you know, can you share with us any plans that I Joe has for 2018? What can you share with us today about what's going to go down in 2018? Well, I mean, I think the most exciting thing that I would share with you is that iGel is going to do something we've never done before. Uh, we're going to uh, host an industry event in three different continents in the first quarter of 2018. Uh, we've, we've named it Disrupt. We think that's a, a good name, although now that we named it that, I find a whole bunch of other events named Disrupt. I guess it's a popular buzzword, but iGel is certainly disrupting this end-user compute space, so that's what we named it. And uh, so Jan the week of January 15th in Germany, we will host, a, in our hometown of Bremen, we will host an industry end-user computing forum um, we have over 200 people already registered for this event, um, which is just fantastic. And inside that event, there'll be a technical boot camp where you can get really smart on iGel specifically. But there's over 30 different um, technology partners in this whole ecosystem. And I think that sort of speaks to the power of iGel as a software you know, player is uh, – is our you know capacity to to put on an industry event to attract thirty different uh, partners to participate in the first year and have a couple hundred very specific customers, distributors, and partners that will uh, will attend this event. And the, if you look at the speaker lineup, you can go to disruptuc.com and check it out, or even just get to it through our homepage on igel.com. But you'll see the lineup of speakers is not nothing short of you know stunning. We've got top executives from Citrix, VMware, uh, Gartner. We've got the CEO of Lakeside, the CEO of Device Trust. Um, we'll have you know, a, a bunch of different technical panels. Um, in the U.S., we're hosting this in Austin. We have the top guy from uh, VMware that runs their $3 billion end-user compute division, Sumit Duan, former Citrix, now uh, running that huge division at, uh, at VMware. He'll be keynoting. We've even brought Brian Madden out of the dark depths of retirement. He'll be doing a keynote on some, some of the uh, work that he's doing around IoT. Um, so, and then we'll take the show from uh, Austin and, and head to Australia and um, host it in Melbourne. So we're very excited about that, right? Just sort of, you know, help, helping 
illuminate where the industry is going and some of the things that are happening there. Um, and yeah, you know, we see some exciting things happening in cloud DAOs this year. Um, so some of that technology we'll certainly be talking about. And uh, certainly some of the complexity and costs of consuming this technology and how it's solving, you know, real world problems. The other exciting thing for me is that we have real customers that will be at all three locations talking about how they're deploying this technology at scale. Um, and so there'll be some fun panels uh, of you know, people that are actually, you know, charged with deploying and managing these environments and doing it at, at pretty large scale. So that, uh, to me, is something, obviously, that's consuming my holidays, getting ready for it, but uh, very exciting for Agile to host these three events. That, that's, it's amazing. I'm looking forward to these. And, and uh, you know, I had so many questions about but I think you answered them all right there. You know, why, why should a customer join? Well, to hear everything that you just talked about and learn from these, you know, these industry experts. Um, like, like Jed said, head over to Agile.com and, and click on the, the well the big banner in the front and it'll show you some of these speakers and and uh yeah I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to personally I'm looking forward to some of the guys talk about IoT and and things of that nature and and what all that means for the future and and um anything else to add any any specific thing that you might be looking forward to someone you know one of the speakers you might be personally interested in learning from or or anything of, the, of that nature uh Nathan Hill is going to be in Germany um uh, he's you know kind of one of the guys who's a wealth of knowledge around this from Gardner. You know, he's been studying, you know, EMM and IOT and uh, BDI for a long time, right? And he talks to hundreds and hundreds of customers uh, every year. So he has such an informed perspective on what's really happening and where things are going. So I'm excited to you know, have him. And we actually have one of his old colleagues, Brian Gamage, who's now one of the CTOs at VMware. He'll be speaking. Uh, we have one of the CTOs from Microsoft that will be on the stage. So, you know, really a nice cross-section. This is, you know, an IGEL-sponsored event, but it's truly uh, turned into an industry ex- event, right? And I know you're inviting some people from Amazon to the event, and, you know, there's going to be a lot of good uh, kind of geek-speak, heavy technical content for uh, people that are super technical. And then, you know, we're going to take everybody and do this really uh, d- deep-dive technical boot camp for an IGEL, uh, IGEL certified engineer badge uh, that will happen one of the days there. And it will actually happen one day in Austin and also in Melbourne. So, you know, I, I would tell you it's, it should be a tremendous uh, event and you know, well worth people's time to come, uh, especially if you're in this space, because it's a small enough event, right? Think back to the early days of like iForum, right? These events are small enough to where you're going to have access to some of these top executives from these companies, right? It isn't going to be a 6,000 person event where you're lost in the maze. You can have a a one-on-one conversation with Smith or, or with Brian Gamage. Uh, These, these are top influential executives that you'll have access to. So I think that's a very unique environment. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I I remember the early uh, I formed days and those were a lot of fun and not that the new stuff isn't, but, um, uh, it's, it's nice to have it a little bit smaller. Although I think this is pretty, si- pretty good, decent size. I'm quite amazed that I'm, you know, the, the interest for disrupt, um, it's always, you know, it's, it's a very brave thing to try to put on a show, right? Just to, to say, Hey, we're going to do this. And people are like, really, how are you going to pull that off? And then, uh, you know, uh, I'm I'm quite impressed by you know one the organization yeah. side, the people that you guys have uh, managed to get, and then you know the the interest in it from the from the you know community and our customers and what have you. Does it surprise you at all? You got to have a dream, right, Doug? Yeah, you know, nothing was ever accomplished without starting a dream. Yeah, and so it actually has surprised me a little bit, right? Um, in the sense that okay, we're hosting this in northern Germany. It's cold there, and it's in the uh, in the first month of the year where a lot of people have other things on their mind. So yeah, it's uh, I guess I think it's all a testament to you know the uh, the interest in VI and user compute, the momentum that we're seeing, the surge in, in interest in this uh, technology and where it's going. And uh, you know, obviously, I think there's a little bit of a halo effect of what's happening within IGEL right now. So. Um, yeah. Hopefully, some of the listeners will be intrigued enough to go investigate it. We'd love to have you there. Um, and it, you know, if you're listening and you want to get involved, you, know, you can email me directly. Um, we, we're trying to get different panels of, of people set up, and 
different perspectives represented in this event. So there's lots of opportunities still to uh, to participate. You got it. For our technical listeners out there, can you can you share anything about this ICE certification? I love that ICE. Ice yeah. Ice Baby. You can't, you can't say without doing the Ice Ice Baby, can you? No, and we're working on an ice pack, which will be kind of a fun swag pack that we're going to give to people that uh, you know attend it. And I, you know, I would almost hesitate to promote it in Germany because I think we have over 80 people you know, that have registered for it. But what it really is going to be is a full day, you know, uh, hands-on by the best and brightest uh, within the company. So Rene Recker and Jeff Feige have been working with Frederick uh, – and uh, Christian, and they've, you know, these are the smartest technical guys in the field for us, and they're uh, going to put on a full end-to-end hands-on workshop uh, that will you'll come out of it with a small test, uh, and there'll be some fun at the end with some geek speak, and uh, yeah, of course, some beer and food and fun. But the, the, the they'll come out the end of it with an IGEL certified engineer badge that we uh, we've invented here for, for uh, 2018 and going forward. And, uh, yeah, our, our belief is obviously that smart people will uh, sell more and buy more. So it's built for both customers and partners um, in mind. Um, but it's really just a full investigation of the iGel product, how to connect it to Citrix, how to connect it to VMware, how does this iGel cloud gateway work, you know, um, how, how, what's best practices in deploying you know, UDC across a large environment. What are some of the you know, amazing things that uh, people are solving for from pain point perspective with the management console? So it's going to be a real, you know, uh, active, hands-on kind of workshop. And uh, these guys have spent the last two or three months really working on making it uh, a, a real deep technical, you know, no nonsense, um, real world kind of experience. And I think. Uh, Anybody who signs up for it's really going to get uh, a great insight into the iGel technology. You got it. You got it. I, I'm personally looking forward to that. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to sit out there like a very happy student. So, uh, um, you know, one thing when people think I won't, it, this sounds sad and or not sad, uh, selling ourselves short somehow. But you know, people say, "Hey, I, I heard you guys gave away a Tesla." So can you, sure. you know, uh, who won the Tesla, Chad? <laughs> can you uh, talk a bit? Of, first of all, you just talk about lucky, this whole Tesla idea, and then who did win? A very lucky guy uh, out of uh, North Carolina won it, who uh, was a, a system engineer for a, a, one of the largest retailers in the world. Um, he was at VMworld, and uh, he actually uh, was at a dinner when, when, he, when he won it, and we left him a message with about 500 people listening. He called back about two minutes later and uh, was pretty over the moon. To uh, to attend a trade show in Vegas, usually you leave with with less money, not not a Tesla, yeah, right? exactly. Uh, let alone a hundred and forty five thousand dollar Tesla. So it was a great campaign. We actually won an award for the campaign from the Stevie o- American Business Association Awards. Oh, cool! Uh, I didn't know that. A lot of people to uh, to this, and um, you know, they saw it as a as a best practice in the way we were kind of handling it. Uh, and running a global campaign. So, yeah, uh, we decided at uh, Vegas that we would give away another Tesla. So, in actually disrupt on Thursday, January 18th at 6 p.m. CET time, we will actually give away a Model 3 Tesla. So, anybody that's listening that hasn't signed up and just you know, meets the criteria for, uh, for participating can go to the iGel website and uh, still get an entry in. We will be giving that uh, second Model 3 away um, at Disrupt. So that's another exciting reason to attend Disrupt. You don't necessarily have to be there to uh, win it, um, and we will be live streaming it. Um, and then, of course, we'll also be announcing our next uh, 2018 campaign, which is is interesting, if not more interesting, than the Tesla campaign. Ah, so uh, cool. stay tuned for that. I can't wait. I can't wait. That's super neat. That's super neat. So, uh, um, boy, you know, you, you, you're always so far ahead of me, you know, that we've gone through all of, you know, as people know, I write down a basic list of questions and I never re- or rarely ever stick to them and talk with Jed. He's always about three or four steps ahead of me. And that's just, that's a try working with the guy. You know, it's always three to four steps ahead. You got to move fast guys. You got to move fast, but that's the best part about it. So if you're a mover and a shaker, then you're in high heaven. Uh, that being said, Jed, uh, anything else about IGEL? I would like to ask you before we call it an episode, uh, um, 
you know, about your predictions for 2018, you know, within our industry or just the industry, you know, the tech world in, as a whole, right? But before we do that, anything else to add about, I, you know, about IGEL um, in general? I mean, I think we've covered it uh, pretty well. I think uh, we, yeah, we, we just encourage anybody who hasn't really looked at IGEL and who is deploying this architecture, uh, you, you know, to give us a look. And obviously, if you're a partner and you're listening, you know, uh, and you haven't really uh, looked at IGEL, we, we're a 100% channel organization, which is amazing for me, right, to be able to say that. We work only with the sort of partners that are trusted and, you know, have the teams that are uh, really capable of delivering this stuff. And, and I will tell you one other kind of important moment for me has been that we've been able to attract all those really high-end partners, right, that have several decade-long histories of delivering Citrix and VMware. So, yeah, that, uh, I mean, I think we've covered it. I'd love to talk to you about what we think's happening in 2018 because I think it's going to be a, a very interesting year for for this space and technology in general. Well, go for it. What, what's what's Jet Air's 2018 predictions? Well, I mean, I think we're going to see, uh, continue to see growth in the VDI space, right? We're, especially for IGEL with the value proposition that, that we have. So, yeah, we're... Uh, we believe that you know we can continue to disrupt this market. So I, I think you're gonna you're gonna see you know with Windows 10 and all the security challenges people have, you're gonna see more interest in deploying this uh, VI architecture, both on prem and on the cloud. And I think that's really one of the real interesting areas, right? Is you're gonna start to see Citrix pushing people towards a cloud subscription model, VMware doing the same, and then AWS is obviously working very hard with their workspaces product to uh, to deliver a, a, you know, a cloud workspace solution. And, you know, Amazon, as they've done in every other industry, they, they don't want a small p- chunk of the pie. They want the entire use case, right, workspaces on any device, anywhere. Yeah. So I see them as a very disruptive, you know, um, I heard something the other day that said if you're if, – if Amazon isn't in a sector you're in, you should probably be scared. And if they are, you should be scared, right? So yeah. um, I, I look for them to, you know, more and more people looking at their solutions. And obviously they have a ways to go into maturity, uh, you know, in terms of catching up with the uh, the rest of the uh, on prem capacity to deliver these solutions that, you know, Citrix and VMware obviously have very mature solutions at this point. So, um, it's not going to happen overnight, but what it is going to do is, is I think in 2018 will be a year where a lot of people start to look at these in earnest, right? Look at these solutions, start to give more feedback to Amazon and Azure in terms of what's needed to, to actually move to these subscription models. And that's going to move the whole industry forward, right? Yeah. So that's probably my biggest prediction in terms of what I think is going to happen in 2018 is just, you know, we're a lot of people looking to to the technology, but also looking to it in the cloud. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, it you know, I think that 2017, 2018, or really for, you know, for a while now, we've been just continuing the growth, continuing the innovation, continuing this march towards, you know, the uh, a subscription model cloud delivered, you know, uh, universe, right? And, uh, um, and I like what you said about Amazon, because I think that's my biggest prediction is that, I don't think that two th- I'm sorry? I'm still here. Oh, I don't think that 2018 is going to be uh the year of Amazon, but I think it's going to be sort of the year where Amazon starts making a splash and people start hearing about it and and um you know, it's 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 sort of like the old days you didn't bet against IBM, you didn't bet against Microsoft. If you did, you were usually on the wrong end of the you know, wrong end of right. And I think that Amazon's going to take a big chunk of things. And, uh, but it's, it's going to come down to when things are ready for DAS and what have you. But I've, I've told so many people that pay attention to what AWS is doing with, uh, with workspaces, with AppStream, also the ability to take, uh, uh, applications and webify them. Both those technologies are, that's, are futuristic to say the least. And, and uh, I just don't bet against those guys. I, I spent a, a lot of time playing with the technology. I think it's going to be huge. But uh, you know, yeah, IoT we'll, is going to continue to grow. Stuff, Joe. We are working very hard with Terdici and Amazon right now. And um, yeah, look for us to be a player in terms of onboarding people into these workspaces environments, right? I mean, I think that's the magic of IGEL. 
is that we're kind of a Switzerland, right? We don't care what hardware you're going to run our operating system on. We don't care what uh, cloud you're going to run on. I think we support 13 different protocols right now. And so, yeah, you know, you're, we're kind of a Swiss army knife in terms of the endpoint, right? In terms of how, how you can get access to these solutions, make it work with all your peripherals and do it in a very cost effective, highly secure and highly manageable way. Right. So to us, what's exciting about Amazon is that it really shortens the sales cycle. Right. When you think about the, the time that um, these POCs, right, a lot of it's around sizing storage, sizing servers, working on network, you know, uh, latency challenges and so forth, right? So when you think about consuming this out of Amazon or Azure, a lot of that complexity goes away entirely, right? Um, and But, you know, what doesn't go away is I still need a device to be able to manage and access those workspaces, right? And that's really where iGel, uh, with our software-based approach, becomes very interesting. Absolutely. Absolutely. And don't forget IoT. IoT is going to continue to grow and work its way into our everyday lives. And that's just, that's across the board. So Jed, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to do this with us. Um, It's been a, it's been a fun 2017. You know, I didn't think, uh, you know, this time of last year I would be at uh, IJO and actually about this time I did, but you know, two weeks earlier I had no, no, and, and, you know, I would, wow. And uh, I've had the best year. So, um, Thank you so much. Uh, we've been very blessed to have you as part of the team and uh, part of our extended global uh, voice in terms of educating people on IGEL. And we're very grateful for that, uh, Doug. And love doing these uh, podcasts with you. You're probably the easiest person on the planet to talk to. You've got a, a voice for radio and uh, have a certain way of uh, opening people up. So always a pleasure to get on the call with you uh you're too kind to me too kind way too kind to me so my ego always grows a little bit and that's a bad thing so uh thank you jet again uh we'll go yeah. ahead and call this a show sound good take care out there okay. everybody thank you thank you okay jed thank you so much again and before we get too far guys i want to talk about something that jed brought up at the beginning of the podcast and that was a document that we were i am working on and a bunch of the engineers a few engineers that i is working on um, that really helps you uh, get up and running with the iGel software um, product, solution platform with very little effort. So iGel has great documentation. We really do. But like a typical software company, there's not really one document that will walk you through the entire process. You really sort of somewhat need to know where to go. We have great supportive articles, great user guides. and But we don't have that one, and I don't believe really any uh, or many software companies have that one document that'll walk you through all that. You know, the entire process. When you're brand new, you don't know anything, but you want to try it out. You know, you want to put this in your lab. You want to create a very simple proof of, proof of concept. And uh, so that's what we set out to do. And in the, it's really simple. It's all screenshot by screenshot. It starts off giving you a little bit of information about the iGel solution. What is the iGel solution? How does it work? Uh, uh, what are the different products? Just a real brief overview, written the way I talk, so it's very easy to understand. And uh, and from there we dive into okay. So you want to download the product now? What? Well, you head over to igel.com forward slash download, and then what? Oh, there's a screenshot for that. Oh, you receive an email. Okay, well don't worry about that email. It says we will walk you through every single process. So click on this link, download the code, install it, and this is how you install it, screenshot by screenshot. And as we go through. We link out to different uh, e-docs, what we call e-docs at iGel, which are support documents. Hey, here's more information about this. Here, here's more information about this. Oh, here's a note. Gotcha. Be, be careful. You probably want to you know, worry about this. And we walk you through the entire process. By the time you're done, you'll have the iGel management solution set up that we call the UMS. You'll have a client set up. You can do this all in virtual environments too. I actually have them running on my Mac and just virtual box. And when you're done, it's all done. It's you set up, set up. It's about 80, 80 pages, but we got to remember every page has two big giant screenshots on it. So it's really two big giant screenshots and a little bit of text. And if you took away all the the screenshots, it would probably be twenty pages or something, and maybe even smaller. And uh, but it's really simple. I think you guys will really like it. I've sent it out to 
gosh, 40, 50 people. And the feedback's been really amazing. They're like, wow, this was so easy to set up. I can't believe how simple this was to set up. Wow, I can't believe how, you know, it took me an hour, it took me half an hour. So um, we're getting some feedback from folks. Hey, if you think about doing this, hey, can you add this? So if you want this document right now, please send me an email, brown at igel.com. Or you can head in and join our new Slack community. So iGel um, has a, a tech community. This is the second thing I want to talk about and share with you guys. We have a tech community, igelcommunity.com. And that will actually take you to a LinkedIn group. And I love the LinkedIn groups. Pretty much everyone's on LinkedIn. So um, you can head over there. Um, but with the process, problem with a form like that is you really don't have that collaborative. You really don't have a real-time messaging solution. So a few of the uh, my buddies been bugging me to build a Slack community. So we just built a Slack community for iGel. In one day, we have 100 folks, 100 engineers. And in one day, I think we have 350 different threads going on, communication. And we're not just talking about iGel. We're, we're having fun, too. We're it's really, truly a community with some of the, the best and brightest guys out there. A bunch of great iGel engineers and more being added every single day. Uh, it is Christmas time, so a lot of guys are on vacation. I can't wait until after the holidays and watch this thing boom because right now it's, trying to keep up with this is almost difficult. But we've organized it well, too. So you have a different channels for each of the products. If you have any questions, you can post it there and someone will probably answer it. And it might not be an iGel guy. Maybe it's uh, another community guy that has the same problem or knows the answer to your question. And we had a question like, hey, which firmware do we download? Hey, you know, that's a great question. That's one of the questions I asked. And I actually learned from the answer, believe it or not. So if you're, if you're in Slack, uh, head over to, uh, um, you know, just open up Slack and join igelcommunity.slack.com. Just put that within the Slack client and you'll you, come on in, please. Uh, the more, the merrier. And I think that it's a great way for you guys to stay up to date with what iGel is doing. As there's new product releases, we'll post that. It's not just a support because it's not official support. It's community. So, uh, um, you know, but if we find that we can help you, maybe we will make, the, you know, send you to the official support. In fact, there was one question. We're like, you know, that's a really advanced thing. Let's, let's see if we can't just open up a support ticket and get you guys the right proper support on this one. And, but I, I think you'll love it. So the, and, and within that community too, you can download this document. So I have the draft up there right now. Um, hopefully we'll release this thing or we will release this thing at summit. Citrix Summit in uh, what the second third week of Jan second week of January, so uh, you know, then it'll be uh, within the download email. It'll be on igel dot com. It'll be on dabcc dot com. It'll be everywhere, and also it'll be within the Slack community. I also want to, and I'm already doing it. It's sort of I call it an open source document. So I had another gentleman, uh, another engineer, another techie, another community member say, you know, hey, there's this great thing called device trust that Jed brought up. Wouldn't it be great if we documented that? And I was like, yeah, I would love that. And he said, you know, I can take the lead on that. I can write that. So he's going to write that video, send it over to me. I'll sort of dugify it, throw it in, change, you know, make it fit within the fold of the document, make it look and feel like the rest of it so it's easy to understand the way it currently is, the document is, and we'll release an updated version of that. So it's really an open source, you know, software defined. It's only, it's getting better all the time and uh, in community-driven project to teach you guys how to install. And that's, that's the big thing I tell you about 2018. And, and I really got my feet wet in 2017 trying to do this, and now I'm running full speed and getting some great help from uh, uh, some of the great guys at iGel. And then, like I said, some community members are stepping up to play big time because that's what these guys do. They love technology, and they want to be a part of it. So if you're somebody who loves technology, you want to be a part of it, igelcommunity.slack.com. That's not a URL you would put into a browser. That's a URL you would put into the Slack client itself. So and if you haven't used Slack, download it. You guys will love this thing. It's really amazing. I'm not a big Slack user or was not. Now I've been a huge Slack user. And uh, thanks, Shane, uh, for, for pushing me in that direction. So I sort of went kicking and screaming once I went there. Uh, thought to myself, gee, what was I thinking? So what else do I say? But uh, thank you, Jed, so much. For, uh, for a great year. Thank you for t doing this podcast with us. I'm so excited about 2018. IGEL's going gangbusters, and we're going gangbusters because we got a great solution, and, and you guys are finding it. 
and you guys are loving it and the community's embracing it and we're extending it. The tweets have been amazing. I'd love to know exactly how many, you know, retweets we had from last year, but just phenomenal. And not just retweets where people go out and actually tweet it or put it on LinkedIn or, or even Facebook, you know. Uh, gee, I just downloaded the IGL. This is amazing. I can't believe this. And how many people have I've sent a UD pocket to, for example, and say, Doug, this is just, thank you so much. This is so great. Where has this been my whole life? Um, and that's, that was, uh, well, that's really the, the story behind the IGL growth is, is we're getting that message out there. The Germans have always created a great technology. It's only getting better. Um, you know, if you want to buy good, you buy German engineering. And that's just all there is to it. I absolutely love it. So I've had the time of my life the past year. It's to the, almost the end of 2018 now and or 2017. So I'll go ahead and I wish you a Merry Christmas if you listen to this prior to Christmas. And I will wish you a very happy New Year's, a uh, very happy uh, 2018. And uh, may it be filled with uh, uh, everything you ever want and a little bit more. So on that note, I won't even talk about DABCC, but definitely visit DABCC.com. It's a great place to be. <laughs> Take care, all. Thank you so much for listening to DABCC Radio. Merry Christmas. D-A-B-C-C? D-A-B-C. Say it again. D-A-B-C-C. D-A-B-C. Can you say it again? D-A-B-C-C. D-A-B-B-C. How about D-A-B-C-C? D-A-B-B-C. D-A-B-C-C. 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 D-A-B-C-C.